Assalamu alaikum and what's up everyone? Hope you guys are doing well. All right, today we are reviewing the Sony RX0 Mark II. Okay, so this thing shoots in 4K and it's waterproof. It's also shockproof and it is crush proof. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Anyhow, we're gonna go over all the features and the who should buy this, the benefits of this uh, little camera, this tiny, tiny little camera. It's a really cool camera actually, it's pretty good. I've been using it for, I'd say a couple of weeks now and I've been using it oddly enough for vlogging. Look how small it is. But I have to say one thing before we move forward. This is not an action camera in the sense of, it's not a GoPro. This is something completely different and I'll explain why in a little bit. But first, let's talk about the features. So let's go outside and test out the flip screen while we vlog. Okay, so right now I am vlogging with the Sony RX0 Mark II. Screen's flipped up, I can see right where I'm looking at and the sound is coming from the built-in microphone. So I don't know how it sounds so far, you guys already know, but I'll find out in a little bit once I plug it into the laptop. But the picture so far from here looks okay. I am shooting in 4K. So right now, let's go in the car. Again, right now I am recording. Everything is in auto, so... Let's see what the auto settings are like. The auto meaning on the Sony camera. All right, cool. So, so now this is with external audio. I am using the Rode Wireless Go and the microphone is right over here. And you guys should be able to hear me from a great distance. So you can compare the microphone that's built in and the Wireless Go by Rode. I'm pretty impressed with this so I walk through the mall there's a bunch of security and usually when they see a big camera a microphone and things like that they tend to stop you but I got this little RX0 Mark II in my hands and it's got a nice pro microphone or at least what I consider it to be pro and nobody just they just look at you I think it's a little toy so it's pretty cool and I'm shooting in 4k so this is pretty amazing Okay, did you guys notice the sound difference between the comparison between the uh, with the Rode mic on and with the Rode mic off? So we got a little hack there where we clip on the Rode microphone on the side here and the side cable, which I'll explain what this is in a second. And then we have the other Rode microphone on the side here, the, uh, the, the, the transmitter. So we got the transmitter and then we got the receiver. So you notice there's a difference there when you put external audio, when you put a microphone onto it. If you guys were wondering what this is here, this little stem, this little tripod that they got here. This is the Sony VCT SGR1, and this is a shooting grip. Let's see, uh, we, we checked out the flip screen. Pretty impressive, pretty amazing. That's one of the things that makes this camera stand out and make it not really a GoPro camera. This is something completely different than a GoPro. Another thing that makes it different than a GoPro is when you want to vlog with a GoPro, it could be done. I saw the rigs that they have. It's, they are, they're impressive, they're pretty cool. Again, small camera, put it in your pocket. You want to start vlogging, pull it right out and go right to work. But you still need an entire setup, meaning you need that cape, you need the, the uh, conversion cable. This actually has a built-in microphone port, so that's pretty cool. So what else does this, what else does this camera have? So, you know, let's, let's go off the box a little bit. Uh, I got my notes here in front of me, but I'm gonna go off the box a little. This camera has a one inch sensor with a 15.3 megapixel. And this is a 24 mm f4. 24 mm is perfect for vlogging. Okay, right now I got two cameras lined up here, a7 III, a7 R3. One is a 1635 G Master and the other one is a 24 to 70. They're both on 24. It's, if you go too wide, you get that distortion. We could vlog at 16, yes, we know, but it's too wide sometimes. And then 20, still a bit wide. 24, I find it to be kind of that medium perfect spot. So 35 is when you want to punch in, 50 if you really want to punch in, you know, but uh, 24 seems to be the magic number. This has 24. Moving on, steady shot. So steady shot built in, 
Again, has a microphone jack and the multi-camera control. So it has this port here that does multiple things. You plug right in, you can control it with this tripod. These buttons work as soon as you plug it right in. That's cool. Waterproof, what does that mean? What does waterproof mean? So we can capture shots underwater like this. Pretty cool, right? Get, get really creative. So if you're a content creator and you vlog and you know you, you wanna get some cool shots underwater, you wanna get something unique, some unique perspectives, pretty cool. Now you can go underwater. Shockproof, shockproof up to two meters. You can be a little bit more risky as far as getting certain angles. But let's talk about the high frame rate. So this camera has an HFR option and if you wanna get really creative and you wanna take really cool shots, you can do shots like this. That super, super slow motion gives you a really nice look. It's fun, it's fun to watch, you know? Um, time lapse. I could put this camera, I could set it down like this, hit record, it'll capture all the images, put them in post, it will look something like this. Pretty cool, right? That is pretty, pretty cool. So, it's nice. Uh, if you, uh, to be able to do time lapses, to be able to capture images at 15 megapixels as opposed to 12, those few megapixels, they, they might help out a little bit. Uh, to be able to shoot in 4K, to be able to shoot HFR, super slow motion, to be able to have a steady shot, to be able to shoot underwater, to be able to have a crush-proof case with a, what did we say it was called again? Shock-proof, with a shock-proof of up to two meters. So if it falls from two meters, you're good. Uh, so now you got these nice little cameras that you can really create content with and it really helps. So imagine if you had two or three of these in a room and you use them as now A, B, if you use them as B and C cameras. So that's pretty cool too. I mean, if you have, usually when you put a GoPro against the wall, you, you can't see it, you know, because the LCD is back on the panel. So you can't see if your, if your shot is, uh, is right. So you have to open your cell phone and check the app and make sure that it's all lined up. Well, with the flip up screen now, you could just put it against the wall and you could just make sure that your shot is lined up. You know what you, know, you need to be pointing at. So that's a big help. This flip up screen is a definite, definite big plus. It is a game changer for vloggers out there that want to vlog in areas that are very complicated to vlog. So again, I know I've said it many times before, this is for me the best and most amazing thing about this camera is the fact that it is so small and it has a flip up screen and I can connect an external audio just by plugging in the microphone and I'm good to go. Thank you for tagging along and I look forward to, if you, guys, if you guys like this video or you like these types of videos, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you have any questions about this camera, uh, please leave them in the comment section down below. And uh, give me a like if you like it. Uh, it really, really helps. And if you're not yet subscribed, please hit subscribe. I try to do reviews uh, once a week. Thanks again, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Assalamu alaikum.